What's up guys, Sammy here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at a smart button. It's called Flick. This button, paired with your iOS or Android device, allows you to do multiple actions, for example, controlling your smart lights to calling yourself an Uber. Included in the box, you'll find one Flick button with an adhesive backing. There is also an eight pack available that you can purchase in different colors. Beneath this, you'll find a clip attachment, useful if you want to clip it to your shirt, etc. And this can be simply unscrewed and screwed back into the flick button with ease. For me, I use the adhesive backing option and place the button on the left side underneath my desk. Lastly, you'll find a flick sticker and instructions found on the inside of the box. Design-wise, I received the white version, which at the top you'll find the Flick logo, which when pressed, the Flick button displays an orange LED indicator to let you know you've pressed the button. And Flick claims up to two years of battery life with its 3 volt battery, which indicates a battery costs around $5. Not too bad. In my opinion, the button itself doesn't feel really that responsive with clicks. I would have preferred more of a click to it, similar to what I experienced in my Elgato Stream Deck review. Taking a look at the Flick app, once you've created yourself an account, you'll be able to connect to your Flick button through Bluetooth. At this stage, you'll be presented with three different options of how you can use the Flick button. These options include a single click, double click, and hold click, and could be assigned to single or multiple actions per the type of click that you use. For example, a single click I've set up to control my LifeX lights to turn them on and off. A double click I've set up to alert me with a sound slash vibration to find my iPhone if I've lost it. And a whole click to start playing my Spotify playlist. With lots of different integrations and providers supported, you can see that you have a lot of different options for a simple button. But while you might be limited to these providers, the flick button also has support for if this then that. And this opens up more options for how you can use the flick button. So should you buy the Flick Smart button? For a single button at $35, it'd be cheaper to go for an option of the four or eight pack. I will say that I did notice that you have to have the iOS app open in order to use the Flick Smart button. When I asked Flick about this, they mentioned that it was an iOS limitation and does not affect Android devices. Flick also mentioned that it shouldn't affect battery life either. If you have devices that can take advantage of the Flick Smart button, it's great. Some of the built-in utilities in the app are good as well. One feature I really like here is that you can use it as a remote trigger to take pictures on your phone. There are endless options that make the Flick Smart button a cool gadget to have. But that's going to wrap it up for my review of the Flick Smart button. A special thanks to Shortcut Labs for sending out a single Flick Smart button for review. Please note that all the opinions in this video are my own and no one saw the video before it was published. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below of how you might use a Flick Smart button as well. But yeah, hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.